Hi, so this probably has happened to you as well. If you have two drivers for one Tesla and both the phones are connected to the car and uh, with one phone, this always works that you stand behind the trunk and the trunk just pops open automatically. And with the other phone, however, this never happens. Uh, I have searched for the solution myself and uh, it seems that the solution is actually quite simple. Um, the car always has a way to prioritize one uh, device or the other. So you just have to cancel that. And uh, to do that, all you have to do is to press the car button. From the list, you go to um, the Bluetooth option, the Bluetooth option, and in the Bluetooth, you can see uh, I have two drivers, me and my wife. And uh, beside every uh, name, you can find um, a drop down. If you extend that, uh, expand that, I'm sorry, you will see there are options. And one of the options at the top is priority device. The car will attempt to connect the priority device before others when using this profile. So you can see I have unchecked that for my phone. And if I show you um, the same thing about my wife's phone, you can see it's also unchecked. And beforehand, I had um, one of the phones always prioritized and that way the phone would always find a way to connect uh, um, with that device. So if that device was not nearby uh, behind the trunk, um, then the trunk would not uh, pop open by itself because um, simply because um, uh, it was not the priority device and that's why um, uh, it couldn't open that. So uh, uncheck uh, those options for all the drivers that you have listed under uh, one single Tesla and then try to stand behind the uh, trunk. Next time hopefully you'll have success. Thank you very much. Um, I hope you will find this tip helpful. Bye.